Have you heard about the Sahelian goats that lives on the border of Burkina Faso, Mali, Niger, Nigeria? I just found out about them and it made me so, so excited. And therefore, we have invested into the Sahelian goat and they're on their way coming to this farm today. And therefore, I want to walk you guys through some of the things that we are doing to prepare for their welcoming and the reason why I have chosen to invest into these Sahelian goats. So stay with me if this is something that you would like to learn more about because I'm super excited as these goats are coming into this farm today and adding to the breed of goats that we have. Thank you guys so much for sticking around because I said I'm so excited to talk to you guys about this Sahelian goats. Yes, I'm not the first person to bring it to Ghana or to have it in Ghana, but I think I probably will be the first person to do this at a commercial level. So before that, let me take a step back and walk you guys through what these goats are. So as you guys know, so I have the local West African dwarfs, which is what we have here. They are short, they are averaging about nine to 10 kg and matured full goats, right? So it's very small. Then I have the South African breeds, which is the Savannah goats, the Kalahari, and then the Boa goats. Those goats here at my farm are averaging around 60, 70. The females are averaging maybe 55, 60 um kg per goat so don't forget that's the size you can see the difference between a local west african dwarf and a boa goat so 10 kg versus 60 kg big gap now let's come to the sahelian goats so the sahelian goats are from the north so they live on the desert um they're in west africa but in between the border of the the, the sahelian desert right and that's where those goats are. They are found in Mali, they are found in Niger, on top of um, Nigeria, on top of Burkina Faso. Um, but it's very hard to get this goat due to the conflict that is going on there. Recently, I was able to manage and get a contact in Mali who was willing to, you know, gather some of these goats for me. And that's why I'm bringing it here. The reason why I'm bringing this goat to my farm is because of their height, right? So I always talk about value addition. If I'm doing livestock farming, I want to make sure that, you know, I'm adding value to it. So how do I add value to the West African dwarf? And I'm going to set up a right breeding schedule between the boa goat, the Sahelian goat and the West African dwarf. Hi there. Thank you so much for choosing to watch this video and welcome to Farming in Africa. Our journey or mission here is to change the narrative or how farming is done in Africa. And we are doing so not just by showing you what we practice, but also bringing tools and equipment, right seeds, even the right breeds into Africa. And that's why we've started our Farming in Africa agro store in Achimota to be able to make available some of the tools, equipment, seeds and different things that we use here at our farm that we are exhibiting. So if you haven't visited our store, we invite you to come to the Achimota DVLA. Right opposite there, you will find our store, Farming in Africa Agro Store. I hope to see you there and enjoy the rest of the video. So you take a West African dwarf and it's very small, short. You take a Sahelian goat, it's very tall. Right, so if I cross a Sahelian goat with a West African dwarf, I'm able to increase the height. And then what's next? The next thing is to get the weight. So then if I have the right height, I will be able now to cross a boa goat with a crossbreed of Sahelian and West African dwarf. That is my formula. It's not a secret, it's out there. You guys can do it or not, but that is my plan. So now I have actually invested into about is it 60 or 50? I think we are doing about 60 of Sahelian female goats. So they've been traveling since um, I think two days ago from Mali and coming to the farm. Finally, they've entered into Ghana. We did the paperwork in, Bok in Boliga once they arrive and now they're on their way coming here to the farm. So at the moment, once they arrive, what I'm going to do is basically take them into um, you know, a quarantine zone and basically keep them there for um, a little bit of time, manage them, just feed them, make sure deworm them, take care of every disease and sickness that I will find in them before I actually, um, 
you know, start adding them to the other goats. So basically, this is where we are going to keep them. So as you guys already know, this is the poultry pen that where the chicken used to be. But at the moment, I've converted it into a goat pen. So basically, this is a 50 by 50 size. And this is where we're gonna quarantine them. So what this is gonna be is we're gonna cut grass, tie it. You know, goats likes to eat, you know, trying to jump and hustle. So basically we'll be tying foods here. Uh, we also did this recently, which is basically going to be their feeding lots, right? Since they are all coming from different farmers, it is very important that you separate them so that when they put their head in and they are eating, they cannot fight the other person. So basically, this is the reason why we've, did, we've done this this way. Of course, um, this is gonna be like a quarantine space for them for the next maybe three weeks, maybe even four, just observing them and making sure that they don't have any disease that can cross over from them to our goats that we have here. So we are very excited and waiting for these goats. Um, I hope, I haven't seen them physically. I've seen pictures when they were buying them and so on. And I'm excited to, to welcome them tonight. So we probably will stay up tonight and welcome these goats. Make sure we have fresh water. We have some dry food. Um, as you can see, we already have a salt lake hanging that they're going to have here. We'll clean up this place a little bit and get ready for them. If you have any questions or you have any knowledge about the Sahelian goats, please go ahead and write in the comments below. Um, they are beautiful. They are very tall. Um, they are skinny. They are not fat. Um, but I think with what I have in mind, this goat will be the perfect goat to be able to raise the West African dwarfs a little bit higher so that I can get my boa goats to cross them. You guys know that last year I tried to cross a boa goat with a West African dwarf and it actually killed it, right? So this is a new strategy that I have. I'm gonna experiment and share with you guys. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but at least it's worth trying and I'm gonna try. And even if it, the cross breeding doesn't work, I'm still gonna be breeding the Sahelian goats because they are beautiful breeds and I think there's gonna be a huge market um, for them as well. So I'll keep you guys updated and as they arrive too, we will share the details and everything with you guys. Stay tuned um, for more updates on the Sahelian goats all the way from Mali to Ghana in the Bunahafo region at Semenshia Farms. Thank you for watching and I'll keep you guys updated.